Ah, uh, will Azeroth ever wake up? I need to... Okay. Um, so, it's a really difficult question. Because on the one hand, yes, obviously yes. Uh, it is the job of all Titans to eventually wake up. That's literally their life's course. It's like asking if a, a, a pregnant woman will ever give birth. Of course, that's literally the point of being pregnant, right? Is to eventually pop out a kid on the other side. So, um, yeah, of course, uh, Azeroth will eventually be born. The bigger question, I think, on that is what happens to us when Azeroth is born? And that, that's not necessarily a question that is as easily answerable. Uh, it's funny that you would ask this question, Kissy Kissy, because I was literally just earlier today watching Balila's live stream about um like balladas i love watching balladas live streams I, I i don't know why i find the way the content is handled uh two people sitting there chatting about stuff and i like balila very much so i just find the whole uh experience very enjoyable but i was specifically watching one of the clips where they were talking about sort of azeroth waking up and how that could be and and from from balila's point of view a titan is created from the very essence of the world so they sort of they are the world in a way and the world is them of which i completely disagree with him if we go back to um if if we go to the chronicles and we listen to the literal explanation of how titans come to be born they are energy right they're they're massive massive uh, sort of oceans of energy that that found their way to nearby stars that would provide heat and then that heat would be the thing that actually helped them to eventually be born. But then, as these energy pockets would have done, it would have had gravity, and so it attracted a lot of matter around it, and the matter sort of formed a cocoon, if you will, an egg around the Titan. So I don't believe, just off the bat, a Titan is sort of a world. The, there's a reason we call it the world soul, the Titan is the soul within the world, but it's not the world itself. And so, to my mind, what happens when a Titan wakes up? Well, I think it depends on how the Titan wakes up. Uh, in, the, in the case of Argus, for example, for those of you that don't remember, when we looked at Argus, the world as it was sort of, um, you know, filling up our screreens in, uh, I believe it was, what was it, 7.3? Um you saw this massive side of as argus was sitting there off to the side here the the planet looked as if it was being ripped apart as if it was completely opened that is where argus was born because argus was born in incredible agony and pain and uh, anger right because of what Arthur, uh, what sargeras has been uh, have done to him so for argus this birth was destructive but to my mind, there's no reason why a Titan, when they're born and they're not angry and they don't want to destroy the world around them, um, they couldn't just stay in their energy form, leave the planet and then manifest in whichever version they want to manifest in, right? So what they would look like when they finally do have their bodies, I don't see why that couldn't be the case for something like Azeroth. Uh, so that's sort of what I think that world would look like uh, in the instance of um, of sort of Azeroth being born. As to when this might happen, I think a long time. Uh, I do think that there is a lot of story that still needs to be unpacked about Azeroth, specifically talking about reality this world is a prison what Sylvana said there and just before uh, someone commented on one of the videos earlier this week and they went um dude she was clearly just talking fictitiously she she was sort of making a point she wasn't speaking physically and and to that person that there was this about the whole point i am aware of that the question we're asking now we've moved on from that so this person is still stuck uh, all the way back in 2020 when those were the questions we were asking now in 2021 we've evolved to asking the question what if it wasn't just uh sort of uh, uh you know um 
a rhetorical uh, a rhetorical statement what if it was actually a very physical statement what if the world is physically locked up within the world within its planet and so azeroth herself can't be born because of these engines and all of these chains that lies uh, uh, that uh, that lies around it and Again, sort of, if you look at the cosmological map, and I don't even have to bring up the map. Most of you have seen the map so many times, you probably see it when you go to sleep. I know I do. Um, but the map itself shows the, the, the domination runes around reality. We see chains around death. So there is every reason to believe that Azeroth herself was chained one way or another. So Azeroth is a physical prison um of sorts so for me i i don't i don't think she's going to wake up soon i think it's gonna take some effort from us uh nice to know to follow up on your theory about the moor being the original Ouroboros, it only makes sense because otherwise why would the souls instantly go to there when Ouroboros is out of commission so nice to know on that sort of front um i think it's 100 percent the case right 100 percent the case that Yes, uh, the original place, the original destination of souls were the more. I said this uh, the very first time we got access to the more, like during the beta of Shadowlands. I said, I still made a video where I was in the more and I was sort of showcasing how the souls with ease run straight from the soul stream into the river gargua the river gargua just happens to be the river of souls and this river runs straight into torgast i mean it, it looks as if it was always planned to be the case that's how it should have always been and so yeah i'm, I'm absolutely behind the theory that if you go back far enough, the origins of the Shadowlands, the sort of first, uh, the, the first time the Shadowlands really was created, it was created with the Moor as the, uh, the, the sort of destination of all souls. And then Torghast was the place where I believe the Eternal Ones ruled from. So I believe that in Torghast, all of the Eternal Ones stood as sort of the, um, ambassadors of souls and the jailer zuval was the leader of this covenant of this um organization if you will and he's been replaced one way or another so that sort of is my um i guess thinking on that and in some ways answering two questions uh kissy i hope that was worth the five dollars again thank you so much for the five dollars really appreciate that um, and I do apologize, guys, that I sometimes go on these massive tangents um, about, yeah, just one question can lead to almost a 10-minute fucking discussion about uh, World of Warcraft. But I like these live streams being exactly that. Uh, the ability for us to dive deeper into common questions, things that should be so obvious, but maybe it isn't as obvious as one might think, right? Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of